Hey, Brian from Snake Bites. 10 years ago, the holy grail of ball pythons was the white snake or the leucistic. However, over the last 10 years, there's been a number of people that have developed several ways of producing a white snake. We're gonna take a look at some of them. You're watching Snake Bites. What's interesting is over in West Africa, they were always searching for what we considered to be the holy grail of ball pythons. That's the white snake or the leucistic ball python. And for years, there was always stories of them, but they could never actually find them. Kind of like a mythical legend. Finally, after finding one, it was sold here in the States for over $125,000. But a few years later, Dan and Colette from the Snake Keepers bred a yellow belly to a yellow belly and produced the very first captive-born white snake, which is an ivory, just like this one. Next up, Vin Russo produced the very first blue-eyed leucistic from breeding what he called lemon to lemon, now sometimes referred to as het leucistic or het russo leucistic. Next up, Ralph Davis produced a blue-eyed leucistic from breeding a lesser to a phantom, and then the floodgates were open on white snake production. Now that the floodgates were open, lesser to lemon, white snake. Mojaves are an interesting snake because they are a lot like lessers. They actually even look a lot like them, but a little bit darker. But sure enough, when you breed them together, you do produce a form of blue-eyed leucistic, but it has a little bit of gray on the head, a little bit of pattern to it, another variation of a white snake. Lesser to lesser, you guessed it, another white snake. Lesser to Mojave. Now, I don't want you guys to get the opinion that when you put a lesser to Mojave or in these combinations, all you get is white snakes. With this combination, like all the other ones I've already mentioned, it's a one in four shot or a 25% probability that you're gonna get a white snake. In this case, blue-eyed leucistic. What's interesting about these guys, which are fireball pythons, is when you breed them together, you get a new form of leucistic, which is actually a black-eyed leucistic. And Eric Davies over in the UK is the first one to ever produce them. They're really cool because they have black eyes, but they have red pupils. Yet another variant of a white snake are the mocha to mocha balls. They actually produce what's called a latte ball python. A little bit different, still a white snake with a little bit of a yellow stripe down its back. Keep in mind, these aren't the only ways to produce a white snake, and breeding snakes is not an exact science, so it's entirely possible that each year, someone could come up with a new way to produce a white snake. Okay, all this babble about white snakes. Well, you know what? I love animals, but I hate white snakes. White snakes just bother me. They're so dull. White snakes, I hate it. They just crush your dreams. With their stupid songs, of power ballads. Of... Hey, Brad, what's up, man? Oh, it's what's going on, dude? You know what's going on? Chewie's been like down and depressed and like moping around. I think that this week's show is about white snakes. And I don't know if you guys know, but he used to be in a band in the 80s called Albino Serpent. I guess they were doing really good. And then that band White Snake made it big. Uh -huh. And then everyone thought Albino Serpent was just posers. And yeah, I don't think he's ever sang since. And I think it's just kind of got to him, to be honest with you. Yeah, I never heard of Albino Serpent. So yeah. I mean, well, what are we supposed to do? Oh, guys, you know, with Chewy moping around like he is, just. Can you guys try to work a little harder and try to get around it? Because we've got a lot of work to get done. All right. All right. We'll do it again. He's just being a yeah. Do you guys believe Chewie was in a band? I wouldn't think he would be in one. I've never even heard him sing before. Well, he does have the hair for it. Listen, bottom line is I'm not coming to work every day and working with somebody acting like that, dude. It's bringing us all down. i got to work in a room with this guy for 18 hours. I don't know. No. Wait. Hey. Hey, are you back? Are you back? I got ideas. What is, what is it? Are you back? George doesn't have ideas. I don't think he has a brain. I don't think so. Well, now I've seen everything. What the hell, George? You just run off? Hey, look at this stuff. Oh, oh nice. Sweet. Where'd you get it? Around. Where? Town. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I figured since Chew's down, and he won't be happy, start that albino serpent again. Good idea. It's actually oh, a pretty good idea. Huh? What was? Special Lead guitar? Woo! Special gift. Ted Nugent time. So that means I get drums, right? No drums. The f is yours. This? <laughs> Tambourine it up. What am I gonna do with this? This is. I couldn't get At all this stuff. At least let me play bass. I play bass.
No. Listen, it doesn't it doesn't even matter. Do you even know how to play that? I don't know how to play this. It's the tambourine. Everyone knows how to play the tambourine. Listen, it doesn't matter, okay? Let's we just get Chewy up here. Choose. Let's get Chewy up here. It's all about the vocals anyway, right? Yeah. It'll yeah. make him happy. All right, all right. All right, George, get him up here. Choose! George, I'm busy. What the do you want? A bow serpent is back, oh. baby! <laughs> yes! No. The band's back. Oh, here we go again. Albino serpent, baby. I'm back. Do this. Lead vocals, come on. Show us what you got. Wait, you got to, like... Tell us like a song so we can learn. Like, what's yeah. one of your hit songs? Oh, you have number so one. Can... This what's your number one hit? Song. Boys, is called Come Along. Alright, let's do this. Here I come again all alone. Been down the open road I've ever known. Wait, hey. That sounds just like White Snake. Dude. White Snake. That's totally White Snake. No, no. It's Albino Serpent. They ripped us off. You obviously don't know how to rock and but roll, buddy. Take this. That's why I'm you're in nowhere. That's why you guys are nothing. White snakes. Albino serpent. Call it what you want to call it. It's white snakes. Albino serpent. Oh, great, George. Awesome plan. Now he's royally pissed. Yeah, good job. Your plan didn't just fail. It epically failed. And now he's pissed at us. It's not my fault. We tried. Dude, you got, what, what was your plan? Doesn't matter. I got too much work to do with yeah, this. I'm going back to work. Dude. We got instruments. I'm out of here. I'm going to play my bass. For this week's comment of the week on my Balls Wanna Mate episode, the question was, tell me some of your dating horror stories. And Reptile Wild 88 said, Hey Cal, my worst date was when I was with this chick and she loved to laugh, so naturally I made her laugh. Figured I'd get some that night if I kept the humor up. What I didn't know was that she had a weak bladder and yep, you guessed it, she pissed herself like Niagara Falls in the middle of a packed elevator. Well, in a nutshell, I went home alone that night. Wow, that sounds like some crazy date, and I can understand why it ended the way it did. You guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. All right, guys, it's Cal's Question of the Week. Now, you saw how we rock out here at BHB, and everybody's got the bands that they just love, and everybody's got a band that they just can't stand. For instance, right now I'm really digging Icy Stars, but I can't stand Kiss. I hate them. I hate them. What about you, Kenny? Mine would be Metallica, but uh, I can't stand Megadeth. Okay, I can see that. And I absolutely love Queen. Greatest band of all time, but I cannot stand the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Would you get your butt to give it to your mama? Would you get your butt to give it to your papa and your brother? Anyway, <laughs> everybody has those bands. I want to know what your favorite band is and a band that you just can't stand. Text or video comment below. Let me know. So there it is, some of the ways that you can produce a white snake, and I'm sure every year there's going to be new combinations to produce more of them. It's kind of interesting that that used to be the holy grail, and now they're relatively common. Speaking of holy grails, I personally think the next one is going to be the solid purple ball python. You can get that with a super cine lavender or even a super cine banana. That's going to be pretty wild. And speaking of wild things, we're going to be taking this on the road and heading down to the Columbus Zoo. So for you Jack Hanna fans, we got a treat in store for you. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites.